What is up guys? We are back for another autocross event. I am extremely, extremely excited for today's event. I'll put the map here. This is a hard freaking map. Uh, you got two loop-de-loops in there. You got some real weird, like, cut turns. It's gonna be rough. It's gonna be a rough day. Uh, not like in a bad way, but it's gonna be like rough as a driver out there, uh, trying not to mess things up. There's a lot of firsts for today. There's the first time doing autocross with the back seats out and the brace. First time on the new tune by Frank Mabo. I'm at like the tenth revision now, and the tune's feeling phenomenal. Um, I haven't even tried out launch control yet, so I'm been trying that out today. There is, I got my new fuel pump in. I got my new uh, four additional injectors in with the fuel rail and all that. So it's a big day. It's a really big day. Uh, the car is going to be pushed a lot, uh, as you can see that. This, this course map, it's it's gonna be intense. And then I got my boy, my boy Philly over here, also tuned by Frank, yeah, he's DSG. And my, my girl Heather over here, she uh, got a new set of wheels and tires. What are they? She got some some nittos, some real sticky nittos, and she was already doing like phenomenal on like a completely stock setup in her ST. It, it blows my mind how good she can do. And I got my boy Dylan over here in his ST as well. Um, of course, most of the normal people that are here, but it's gonna be a big day. Hopefully I remember to turn the GoPro on. Um, hope I can get some outside clips and, and all types of things. Things are a little weird between a home life right now, but uh, Kaylin is here as well. She is racing, so it's just a little awkward. <laughs> Another thing, um, if the, this video in itself seems a little bit different, I just got a new laptop uh, right there. Boom, I had a real nice MSI. I forget the code, but it has a, a 1050 Ti with the i7, 8750, 16 gigs of RAM, and I got like a real nice 27 inch curved display. Actually, I'll, I'll post a picture here. Um, so, and so I used to edit on a Mac, on a MacBook. I saw my MacBook Air. I was using iMovie, so today, like when I get home, I'm downloading Adobe, and it's gonna be a whole different world when it comes to that, and I gotta pay like 30 freaking bucks a month for this stuff, so. <laughs> but, uh, Anyway, get back to you guys in a little bit. I'll go walk by all the cars that are here and uh, we'll see how this day goes. Out here working the track. I'm in C group. I'm working for A group right now. Um, so far, it looks like about the average is about 60 seconds, which is pretty sweet. Like this, this track is, is complicated. Um, you'll, you'll see here in a bit. I'll get Kaylin's last run here, but my lord. It's gonna be, it's gonna be intense. I'm super nervous. super tight in there then you come through here you got this solemn with a, this turnaround that's pretty much it and you got Heather over here just doing the damn thing she impresses the
twist up, lap number three. Um, it's a little rough. I let three more pounds of pressure out of the front tires to get me down to 30. It always meant I had a passenger, which always makes me nervous. So try and make it up on this fourth run. But my second run, I hit a cone and it added me like 59.5, but a cone's two seconds. So I'd have been 57.5, which would have put me in first place. So if I can get a run, like my second run right now, not hit a cone, I'll be very happy. Uh, getting to low 37s, maybe even touch a, a or 57, maybe even touch a, a 56 uh, in the afternoon runs is my goal. That is the goal. And I'm nervous. <laughs> but so far, so good. The tune feels great. Uh, you can feel, you can definitely feel the chassis being stiff with the bar back there and stuff. Um, yeah, the Euro, Euro code front and rear braces are definitely needed. That tie roll sport and the BFI mounts and just all the things, racing line, everything's just working together perfectly and I love it. Well, the camera messed up for the fourth lap apparently, but it was my best one, 57.9. Um, number one car right now is 56.6. I can definitely make up time. I'm not really launching the car from the start and there's a couple spots I can really like push and brake a little bit harder. So this afternoon is going to be that. I'm going to drop the tire pressure a little bit more. Um, the rear did get like a little squirrely, which kind of messed me up. Um, squirrely in like a bad way, not a good way. So I'm going to let a little bit more air out of the rear ones as well. Um, whew, it's just a really intense track. This track is just super intense. Um, my focus is not proper either, so, so there's that. But... I'm excited. This, this second half of the day, I'm gonna go balls to the wall and let it rip. All right, here we go. About to do our last laps of the day. Got pretty warm. It's now 71 this morning. It was like 50. Um, nervous. My heart's beating out of my chest. <laughs> Hopefully, I can make up some time. We're gonna launch the car for the first time today um, for a time run. So, hopefully, that makes up some time. Well guys, did it again, got first in class. Um, I didn't place overall where I wanted to be. I was like six out of the 33 drivers over there, but that course was intense. It was intense, intense, intense. You've seen how long those clips were. I was trying not to bore you guys too much. And it was hard for me to get clips of other people because between my rounds, I was like trying to do things with the car and uh, 
check things over, but I mean, the car did great all day. The only thing that needs to be changed is the kind of launch control. Right now we're doing fuel cut. I want it to be spark, plug, spark cut and then set the RPMs higher. Uh, it's something I'm gonna do this week, get that done. Uh, this weekend I'm gonna put in a new fuel line that goes from the fuel pump to the fuel rail from my ethanol sensor upgrade. I, well, I need to put in a, a fuse for the ethanol sensor and then upgrade the fuse for the fuel pump. So that'll be something to look forward to next Monday. Um, it was a great day. Overall, great day. I just, with the, the, the way things are going on at home now and with the way my brain was, I just, I just could not focus. I could not get into my zone. I was like blaring my music, head banging, singing, like doing my normal like hype beast kind of thing to get myself you know, in the zone and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. This wasn't, wasn't my day when it came to that. But uh, overall, it was great. I got, it was the first race with the rear brace, like I said. I could definitely feel it doing its job. So to me, it's definitely worth doing, especially if you want to take your back seats out. Um, I wanted the weight reduction, but I didn't want to lose the rigidity of the chassis if there even was any with the back seats in. So I put the brace there. It definitely made it more stiff than what it was with seats, and I lost weight. So that was good. Um, Frank Mabo on the tuning dude is doing a phenomenal job. Every little thing that I asked for between engine braking and rev limiter and now with the launch control and then like, um, I asked him, you know, to keep it super safe. I'm not a asking for like a full on, like balls to the wall tune. I want it safe, reliable, because this turbo is gonna be sold when a new one comes in. So I'm not trying to blow this thing up by any means. <laughs> um, I want a nice, healthy turbo to, to sell and uh, what else have we done? I guess that's about it. The tuning, you got the, the, the new injectors and fuel pump in there. All that's running as it should. Great. My gas mileage went down quite a bit. <laughs> Anything over like 3,500 RPMs, there's, I believe that's when those injectors are active and it's just, uh, <laughs> my gas mileage kind of sucks. But as long as I keep it under like 85 on the highway, I'm all right. But um, yeah, let's try this computer real quick. So. This is, it's actually Monday right now, a couple hours before you guys are watching this video. I'm just getting used to uh, Adobe here. It's definitely like way more intense than I could have ever imagined. There's so many things you can do. I'm on YouTube constantly just trying to figure out how to do like picture in picture and put in text and all this, but I got this real nice 144 hertz curved MSI screen to go with the MSI laptop. And then I already have, of course, my my Logitech and my Steel Series old Wow Mouse. Uh, it's a little dusty and dirty over here from my old setup. I haven't had time to really like clean it. I just wanted everything set up so I could mess around with it. Um, actually, my roommate in the one room is moving out like tomorrow, actually Tuesday. So all this stuff on the walls and the computer desk and all this is going into that room. I'm um, getting a couch, getting a little table, making it into an office. Um, so that's gonna be nice. Looking forward to that. Um, what else we got this week? I have a nice video for you Thursday about tuning some more. So look forward to that. Uh, no racing next weekend. Maybe we'll we'll go to the drag strip or or something. But that's all I got. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, bear with me on the editing. This is all new to me. I didn't get to put in all my clips. I didn't do a lot of things because I'm unsure and it's only like two hours before I normally put up the video. So I'm just trying to get this out. I fast, passed out on the couch last night. I was extremely, extremely tired. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the football.